Whenever a noteworthy game is released, such as Deus Ex Mankind Divided, I like to put together some kind of performance video. As many of you might know, last night on the 30th of August, the latest six expansion in the set of massively multiplayer online role-playing game series World of Warcraft landed. The expansion raises the existing level cap from 100 to 110, features artifact weapons for each class's specializations, includes a new area on Azeroth called the Broken Isles, and introduces the Demon Hunter hero class that starts at level 98. It will initially include 10 five-man dungeons and two raids. Admittedly, I'm not a World of Warcraft player, and as such, I haven't spent any time with it in the last decade. So, that being the case, this is a game I typically skip. However, so many of you guys have asked that I check out this latest expansion and create a performance video that I felt compelled to do so. So, here we are. Blizzard was kind enough to provide me with access to the game a week in advance, which has helped me get this video out so promptly. Testing takes place in Wusong Village, which lies over the mountains and due west of the training grounds on the Wandering Isle. The village has been overrun with annoying Hosen, who is stealing up the supplies while attacking the villagers. The fraps run last 60 seconds, and as you're about to see, the frame rate does vary quite a lot here. Due to the amount of graphics cards tested, I've only included three resolutions using a single quality setting, that being the max settings with CMAA enabled. The aim was to include as many current and previous generation GPUs as possible. 17 GPUs were tested, 9 Radians and 8 GeForce cards, all of which were tested in my standard Core i7 test system rig. With all that said, let's get into the benchmarks. As expected, even with the maximum in-game quality settings enabled, World of Warcraft Legion isn't particularly demanding at 1080p. The Radeon RX 460 for example averaged 65 FPS with a 52 FPS minimum, while the GTX 950 was a few frames faster. After that we find GPUs such as the GTX 960 breaking the 90 FPS barrier. Increasing the resolution to 1440p, we find that the RX 460 and GTX 950 drop down to around 40fps on average, which is still playable, though input lag is now noticeable. Jumping up to the GTX 960 and R9 380, we find a very smooth 60 plus frames per second on average. As expected again, the lower end GPUs won't cut it at the extreme 4K resolution. In fact, those targeting 60fps here will require a GeForce GTX 1060 or R9 Nano. The GTX 980 Ti was a good bit faster than the Fury X, while the GTX 1070 and 1080 provided the best results. So the results were very much what I was expecting to find, even with the little I knew about the game. Graphically, the game's been much improved since its debut back in 2004, but when compared to other modern AAA titles, what you'll see in the Legion expansion is very basic. It's definitely designed to run on lower spec systems, which makes sense. Blizzard won't want to suddenly make half their customer base have to upgrade just to play. It is worth noting that the game is more demanding for the raids on both the GPU and CPU, though accurately testing this many different hardware configurations while in a raid is next to impossible. Nevertheless, I feel for the most part those rocking a decent processor should expect similar performance to what's been shown here. How many of you are wow guys? Do you want to see more coverage like this? Let me know in the comments. I'm your host Matt as always, and I'll see you guys next time. YouTubers like me depend on your support to continue improving the quality and content of our videos. To support the channel directly, consider becoming a patron to also get access to a heap of cool rewards and exclusive giveaways. Also, don't forget you can check prices and buy the products I looked at in this video through the Amazon links in the video description below. Thank you kindly for supporting me and the Hardware Unbox channel, it means a lot to me and I really do appreciate it, and in return I'll continue to work as hard as I can to keep producing the content you enjoy.